Lab Conco's Atmos Pure Regen Gas Purifier enhances the ability of the protector or precise controlled atmosphere glove box to reduce and maintain very low oxygen moisture levels. The atmosphere constantly recirculates the internal inert gas atmosphere and removes oxygen and moisture using copper and molecular sieve catalysts. The system can be regenerated in place when the catalysts become saturated. This video will demonstrate the installation of the Atmosphere and its required circulation tubing kit, the gas vacuum and exhaust tubing kit, and the vacuum pump communication cable kit. To install the Atmosphere, your glove box must have the appropriate tubing connections, which can be added if necessary using the LabConco Automatic Pressure Controller Gas and Vacuum Tubing Connection Kit. First, install the recirculation tubing kit using its two pre-cut tubes with pre-installed swage lock tube fittings. The atmosphere can be placed below the glove box. Remove the swage lock cap from the bottom of the 90 degree fitting on the rear wall. Locate the small and large ferrules and compression nuts in the recirculation kit. Place the ferrules, large diameter side first, into the compression nut. The smaller ferrule goes in first, then the larger ferrule, and thread assemblies loosely onto the male thread of the 90 degree elbow. The compression nut should be tightened one and a quarter turns, past finger tight to prevent leaks. Next, slightly loosen the two large swage lock compression nuts located on the back of the atmosphere, and insert the tube barbs from the opposite end of each recirculation tube. Again, tighten the compression nut one quarter turn past finger tight to prevent leaks. Next, install the gas, vacuum, and exhaust tubing kit, which permits the regeneration of the atmosphere's internal oxygen moisture removal column. First, measure, then cut, the minimum length of the PVC tubing from the supplied roll. This tubing connects the reducing gas inlet fitting, located on the rear of the atmosphere, to the regulator on the reducing gas tank. Remove the swage lock nuts from the reducing gas regulator and the reducing gas inlet solenoid valve, carefully keeping the internal ferrule rings in place. The correct order of the three-piece swage lock fitting assembly is compression nut, small ferrule, then large ferrule. Insert the square cut tube ends through the compression nuts and ferrule rings one quarter inch past the ferrule ring. Then push the internal tube support into each end of the tube. With a crescent wrench, tighten the compression nut assembly on the male thread of the atmosphere reducing gas solenoid valve and the male thread of the gas tank regulator. Tighten the compression nuts one and a quarter turns beyond finger tight to prevent leaks. Ferrule rings should be permanently crimped onto the tubing after the compression nut is tightened. Next, the vacuum tubing is connected from the Atmosphere Vacuum Solenoid Valve to a three-way Y fitting. Using the swage lock compression nut and ferrule rings, assemble as previously described. Cut a short length of the PVC tubing from the remaining PVC coil. The swage lock compression nut and tube assembly is threaded onto the Atmosphere Vacuum Solenoid Valve and tightened. On the opposite tube end, insert an internal hose barb and firmly insert the tube into one of the two side-by-side -side tube ports of the three-way Y fitting. Next, locate one of the two PVC tubes that connects the glove box vacuum solenoid valve to the vacuum pump. Cut this tube in half and insert the internal hose barbs into each end. Firmly push each tube barb into the remaining two tube ports of the three-way Y fitting. Attach one end of the remaining PVC tubing to the compression nut assembly on top of the gas flow indicator on the side of the atmosphere. Route this tubing to a fume hood with good exhaust airflow. Finally, the vacuum pump communication cable kit is installed. Plug one end into the clearly labeled electrical cable port on the atmosphere. Connect the other end to the corresponding terminal on the back of the auto pressure controller. 
Plug the vacuum pump's electrical cord into the outlet on the back of the glove box auto pressure control panel. Extra parts are provided in the gas, vacuum, and exhaust tubing kit to allow for alternative methods of tubing connection. This completes the entire plumbing and electrical assembly for the protector-controlled atmosphere glove box and the atmosphere regen gas purifier.